So what I have now is I have my funnel basically detailed. If you remember on our document we said we wanted the partner visitors, the partners and those in sequence, lead visitors, the leads and those in sequence, same for the orders. Let's give this thing a few tests. Now since the one represents unique visitors, simply refreshing it, meaning re refreshing the lead page in this window is probably not going to do much for me. If I take it out to another browser, so I was in Firefox, I'll open up Internet Explorer here and I'll go ahead and paste the link, hit enter, and here it's loaded in a new browser. If I go back to my original browser in Firefox and I go to the home and I hit refresh, you can see because I switched browsers and therefore had a whole different set of cookies and so forth, it counted that unique visit. So now I have two people who have hit my form, and again it was this other user in Internet Explorer. Let's say that he went ahead and he filled it in and he hit enter. So he gets a little thanks for filling out the form test and then of course he's going to go into that sequence. Now when I hit refresh here what I'm going to be able to see is that I did get a new lead so you can see he got the prospect tag, he's in the prospect sequence. These numbers here if I click on these it'll take me to the record so obviously this one and this one is currently talking about the same person. Let's in a new tab open this and go to that person. So I'm going to jump over here here's my test person, I'll click their name to go into their record Here's their contact record inside of Infusionsoft, and when I scroll down to the Campaigns tab, I can see what's in their campaign, so I can see that this thing's going to wait a few days before it applies this other tag. Let me just go ahead and force it. Let's pretend that this had ended. I'll just go ahead and apply it and hit OK. The reason I want to do that is I want to illustrate that down the road, these numbers are going to change. So I went back to my home page. You can see these are the numbers. When I hit Refresh again, you'll see that the 1 should have become a 0. So it's saying, hey, you know, whatever happened, the guy's done with the sequence. Now you still have a